Yo, YouTube, what's good, man? It's Gabe with another Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Let the content of this video go ahead and smash that like button. Also, comment down below your thoughts about the Super Bowl. And look, uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, man. So look, you see the title of this video, man. Raiders make a splash, hire Eric Enemy, please. Um, after watching the game last night, um, just the mere fact that he's a part of that, the fact that he actually calls the play, Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes gave him plenty, plenty of credit after the game. Um, for what he does for his incredible job and things like that, all right? Um, if you're going to make the splash move, like you made last offseason the splash move when you uh, got Marcus Williams, nobody saw that coming. This offseason, the splash move is to hire Eric Bieniemy. That is that is set the offseason off perfect. But we got to talk about the game a little bit first, though, real quick. Um, I want to talk about the Eagles, the offense for the Eagles. I don't know. Ravens fans, tell me if I'm wrong. When I watch that Eagles offense play, it's like watching a competent version of what the Ravens offense should have been, could have been. I mean, look, man. Um, and this is not to take away from Jalen Hurts. I think Lamar Jackson is a better player. But um, just seeing that, it's like, damn, man, what the Ravens could have been, the Eagles are. Now, let's talk about Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, this was for the game for everybody that says that, you know, he's a running back. He's not a quarterback. You make him throw from the pocket, you see what happens. Jalen Hurts shut all those guys up, man. He was phenomenal last night. And if the Eagles win, he's obviously the clear Super Bowl MVP. There's a case he could have still been a Super Bowl MVP, even though they lost that game. He was great last night. I mean, honestly, uh, let's see the stats for Jalen Hurts. 27-38, 304, one touchdown, 15 carries, 70 yards, three touchdowns on the ground. Like, he was phenomenal last night, bro. Um, he's going to get paid this offseason as he should. He deserves it. Uh, I love seeing the, the growth, the maturity, the maturation in this game. I mean, um, last year in the playoffs versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he wasn't good. You know what I mean? There's no other way to put it. But this entire season, the work he's put in, the offense that they built around him, the, the weapons that they gave him, it's taking his game to another level. And Jalen Hurts has solidified himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Hands down. Um, now, on the other side of the ball, on the other team, that guy Patrick Mahomes is... He's ridiculous. He's special. Um, we already know that. I mean, we're talking about in five years as a starter, three Super Bowls, won two of them, five-time Pro Bowler, multiple All-Pro teams, um, already made, already got paid five hundred million dollars. You know, it's just coming down the road or whatever. In, in totality, so this dude is incredible. Um, a two-time Super Bowl MVP, two-time MVP of the league. You know, the, the list and the accolades just keep growing and growing and growing. And he's definitely going to put himself in that GOAT conversation before it's all said and done. Um, he's that kind of player. He's that kind of guy. But this game came down to <laughs> coaching. The coaching in this game was immaculate on both sides. This was a hell of a game. This was one of the better Super Bowls in, 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 in a little minute. I think the, the one last year was good, but it really it was that drama at the end. You feel me? But this one was a good game throughout. Like, this entire game was a good game. Um, so, like I said, the coaching. Andy Reid, Eric Bieniemy, they put on a master class in that second half, bro. What was it, 24 to 14 at halftime? They scored 24 points in the second half. They scored on every single possession of the second half. They find new creative ways to get guys wide open. Two of the touchdowns that they scored in the second half, it's the same play, Opposite sides of the field, the two different receivers, and the Eagles have no clue. It's like they've never seen it on film, which, knowing Andy Reid, knowing Eric Bieniemy, how they off this role, it probably wasn't on film. They find new and creative ways to get guys open in the red zone constantly, and you got to love it. You got to love it, man. So that Super Bowl was great. Congrats to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, it was entertaining. Like It was a really, really fun football game to watch. And the Super Bowl, that's how it should be. I don't really want to get into the whole... Was it red and all this stuff? Listen, James Bradbury held Juju Spitzus to twice on that play. He also got away with a hold at the end of the first half. Um, Juju ran a slant across the middle. James Bradbury completely turns him. The ref doesn't call it. All right? So, we can't say it was rigged one way and then rigged up. Like, it doesn't make sense. All right? Now, if you want to say, I want to see consistency called on game. I don't like a game coming down to a penalty by, decided by the referee. I can hear that, but Red, all that, I don't, I don't want to hear it. But look, um, now what this video is about, Greg, that's great. Uh, the Ravens hired uh, Eric B. Enemy, okay? Um, so 
when you watch that Chiefs offense, he has to be the top candidate. It's no other way that the Ravens can go that has that's a better choice than Eric Bieniemy. Um, and I don't want to hear the whole he doesn't call play stuff. He clearly calls plays. At least he at least him and Andy shares the, the duty, right? But there's multiple times. There was I remember there was a point in time in the game where the Chiefs had called timeout. Eric Bieniemy has his headset, play call sheet, and Patrick Mahomes is walking directly to Eric Bieniemy to discuss the play coming out of the timeout, right? He's walking. He's not walking to Andy Reid. He's walking directly to Eric Bieniemy. They have line of communication. Communication. He calls the plays. Like I said in the beginning, Andy Reid gives him credit. Patrick Mahomes gives him credit. Now, I think that it's unfair that he hasn't had a head coach's shot. Um, he deserves to be a head coach in the NFL. I think he's been on something like I heard fifteen interviews in the last couple of years, and nobody said, "Hey, look, this guy should be a guy for the job." That's crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy to me. Um, the Ravens should make that mistake. Yeah, now, why would Eric Bieniemy make a lateral move? I think it's for everything I just said, man. He's not going to get the credit while Andy Reid's shadow. And I think a guy maybe like a Matt Nagy has ruined that and other coaches like that that's been underneath Andy Reid who, quote-unquote, didn't call plays but was the offensive coordinator, and they went somewhere else and it didn't work necessarily work out. But that's not fair to Bieniemy, though. And even Matt Nagy, in his case... The Bears were good for a season or two under him, and Rich Trubisky made a freaking Pro Bowl under Matt Nagy. So he's not a terrible offensive mind. Now everything else, are, you know, whatever. But um, so for Airbnb, if he feels like a lateral move is the best move, the Ravens need to be on the phone with him like right now, right now. Call him up. They need to make Airbnb the highest paid offensive coordinator in the NFL. If that's what it's going to take to get him here, that's what you need to do. Honestly, now the only thing I have to worry about is the Cardinals head coaching job. Right, because apparently uh, I put a community post out there yesterday saying that Eric Benning to Baltimore is a real possibility. And I think it is. So the coach job is pretty much closed. They're going to hire the Eagles offensive coordinator, and now the candidate I like the Eagles staff, Brian Johnson, he's definitely not coming here because he's probably going to be the new Eagles offensive coordinator going into next season. So he's out of there. But Arizona was supposedly closing in on Jonathan Gannon, the Eagles defensive coordinator, to be their head coach. But after that kind of performance. I know, I know the Chiefs are great and things like that, but if you look at how Eagles fans talk about John Gannon, they're not particularly impressed with his skills as a defensive coordinator. Now, the Cardinals could still do what they want, and maybe they hire John Gannon to be the guy. I don't know. We'll see. But that's who I worry about is, like, they might give a call to Airbnb and say, hey, look, man, come here, be the head coach. Coach Kyler Murray. Um, get him to that next level. Let, have, have him transform his game, ascend his game. I could see that happening. Um, but if it doesn't happen and the Cardinals decide to go with Jonathan Gannon, the Ravens make a splash. Eric Bieniemy is the guy that's going to get you to start off, right? He's going to be the kind of guy that lets Lamar Jackson know that you're taking this seriously as far as transforming the offense because he will do that for this team. Um, so when I watch the Super Bowl, a uh, great game, fun game, entertaining as hell, um, and all I could do is just sit back and look like, dang, bro, I like that. The Kansas City Chiefs get dudes wide open. Like, wide open. And look, Patrick Mahomes, great player, amazing player, talented player. Um, but this is what happens when a talented player and a scheme match together perfectly. You can get these kind of performances. Even the Eagles on the other side of the ball. Talented player and Jalen Hurts, perfect scheme match, match together. The Eagles do something that the Ravens should be able to do but never quite figured out. They spread the defense out to run the football. The, Ravens, uh, the Eagles will go three wide receivers, one tight end, but they'll have them in the spread look, you know, two by two on each side. Each side of hurts. And they'll run the football because now you got a weak box because everything is spread out. So now Jalen Hurts can, can take off. The Eagles do something that the Ravens did a lot in 2019. They went empty. The Ravens went in 2019, the Ravens used to go empty, and Lamar Jackson would pick defenses apart. Then they all of a sudden they stopped going empty the last couple years for whatever reason. I mean, some of us offensive line play short, but they stopped going empty. The Eagles, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man, watch the Eagles play as like watching everything the Ravens could have been. Or maybe it's just the 2019 Ravens executed to perfection. And, you know, obviously they came up short in the end, but they were great this year. They went toe to toe with every single body, every single team they placed. Whoever they put in front of them, they knocked them down, except for the Kansas City Chiefs. And that's at the very end of the season. So, um, but yeah, their scheme, their talent, their QB, um, they'll be back next year, you know, as a very, very good team. 
But um, Ravens, 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 Ravens. I don't know how you watch that game. And every game is not is not candidate one A uh, at the very very top top of the list. Um, if you want to make a splash, if you want to show true intent of turning this um, this office around, make Arab enemy the next office coordinator. And look, man, John Harbaugh getting up there in age. He's getting up there in age. Who is to say that Arab enemy could be the next Ravens head coach? You know, that could be something to think about. Um, that'd be nice, but I think that John Harbaugh might not hire somebody with that kind of ambition on his staff, right? But um, seriously, though, um, Arab enemy. Uh, he would be a slam dunk hire for the Ravens. It would be amazing to see this kind of offense in Baltimore. We haven't really seen anything like that before. Um, it would be a, a step into this century, into this generation of how football is played today. And I'll, I'll be excited and couldn't wait to see that. All right. Um, so, yeah, that, that's what I'm going to wrap it up there, man. Hey, guys, look, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos, man. You know, um, I love doing these videos. Thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, man, let me know your thoughts, man. Anyway, till next time, it's your boy Yeru. Just another fan TV. I'm out.